He is. Hallelujah. I was just thinking of the, uh, well, we got the right mini disc in here too. I was just thinking about how good that God was. You know, the Word of God says that we must first believe that He is. Amen. And that He is a rewarder of those that do it in the seat. Must first believe, amen, that He is. I remember the day. Amen. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to just get this right out of the way. And a lot of people have been wondering how I'm doing. I'm healed tonight. Yeah. The devil says that I've got to take chemo the rest of my life, but I say Jesus is, is, is on my side. But I'm good. I'm uh, still taking chemo. Oh, but my God. I'm you looking for. How are you doing, brother? Well? I'm good. Good, good. 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 Two weeks. Mr. They my brother out right here, George. Drinking, you liver, How you doing? But, uh, I just I'm the way tonight because the devil's a liar. Yes, yes, yes. And I know people are wondering how I'm doing because I've been a lot of people praying for me. You want to play something for me? You want to play something? Jim is doing great. I love you, man. I love you, man. Finally, God, you're going to the state center in Birmingham. You're looking good, man. You're looking good. They're going to discuss some, doing some skin drafts on him and going, yeah. closing his wounds. Heart and, uh, so the Lord's on our side tonight. Yeah. 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 Said anyone's know that you don't have to pray that loud. I could have sighed the sound, I guess I'd be strange, but I got a closer fire. My heart went up in flames. He made a believer out of me. Started shouting to the place going wild. I ran that door to the door. That night I walked the aisle. He made a believer out of me.
God said, if you come to him with a broken heart and a contrite spirit, he would in no wise cast you aside. Brother, he's going to do something for you. Amen. He's going to do something for somebody here tonight. Amen. I'm in line for it. How about you? Dance a chicken tonight, y'all. <laughs> Amen. I tell you what, I want, as Janice says, I want, I want to get this song right here tonight. Because, you know, once the Lord touches your heart and, and he, he makes a change in your life. Brother Derek, I want to tell you a message that God gave me a while back. And, and I preached it uh, one time thus far in the country church. And, you know, I hadn't been there in many, many years. And, you know, God gave me a message called the message from the beginning. How many really knows what the true message from the beginning was? Amen. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. Amen. There was a man of the name of John. He started talking about it. Amen. This Word became flesh and it dwelt among us. Amen. And then in John 3, 16, it says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Oh, hallelujah. This message from the beginning, church, still burns in my heart today. Amen. Glory to God. But I want to tell you something tonight. If you're here and you don't have the joy and the peace and the love and satisfaction in your heart, amen, that God has brought you, amen, from death unto life, I want you to know tonight that you can make it right here in this place, amen. If there's anything that you don't already have in the Lord, amen, I beg you to give it to Him tonight. He just simply says, I am the door, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life, amen. If there's anything bothering you, you come to Him. Say you're tired of wrestling with your pillow till the dawn. There's a hurting heart that's hid behind that smile you're putting on. To and fro and far and wide and long, we found it is. There's one door you haven't opened, you turn around and walk on in. The bright morning star The shepherd that never leaves the sheep He knows just where you are A lily in your darkness Found in the light He got you all He said, I'm the way to life I am the door Oh, it's hard to comprehend how easy it can be To find what you've been looking for by simple sinner's plea But Jesus stands just right outside your hope He will restore He waits for you to make the move and open up the door Shepherd, I never leave the sheep. He knows just where you are. Living in your darkest valley, the light of God you hold. He said, I'm the way to life. I am the door. He said, I'm the way to life. I am the door. Glory to God. See, it doesn't matter what we think or what happened in our life in the past. Amen. Jesus came for one purpose and one purpose only, to save those that are lost. This is what he did for me, church. I used to think that I could handle this life on my own. I never dreamed I'd need someone. Help me through the storm But God knew I could never cross The dark and raging 
see. So he paid away for my escape upon a rugged tree. And I don't need to walk the water. A bridge is too far me. God gave the son who gave the slide on cross of Calvary. I can walk in faith to share the same because of what he did. I don't need to walk the water. I have to Glory to God. That's what he did for me, sir. Hallelujah. Now listen to this. It's an old familiar story. How the pastor walked the sea. And he called out to Peter. Won't you come and walk to me? Sometimes my faith it gets so low. It's down to sink or swim, but I can walk above these angry waves. I have a bridge as hill, and I don't need to walk the water. A bridge is still for me. God gave his son who gave his life on a cross and Calvary. sound out there. Yeah, man. Glory to God. Danny said it's a good time to ask now. Well, you keep on going when you're going, don't you? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is so good tonight. Whatever I want to do. Uh, I wanted to sing one she broke out on the other night and she don't want to. Amen. Amen. I'm with you, brother. Praise the Lord. Amen. You sure, James? I am. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come Thank you. 
you know, see some right. like a baby. Right. And, and, I mean, either be afraid to want to wake up to it just like he was a baby, you know, now, because we know he's in there. Yeah. You know, and I worry about well, it. And I was cool. asking God, I said, God, you give us this call, and you can help me not feel guilty because of leaving Jeremy. Right. But just help me to understand that I've got to do your calling and help Jeremy understand it. Because I know he's in good hands. His sister's there and his brother's there. So I left him in good hands. And they love him as much as I do, I guess. But um, Bless the Lord. it still don't ease that. And you know, I, and I told Frankie, are you going to call him? I said, no. If I call him, he's going to put a guilt trail on me. And I'm not going to call him. So I called my daughter. Everything's okay. Yeah, everything's fine. Mom. Don't worry about it. Go ahead and enjoy yourself. And the only way I can enjoy myself is being in God's will. My, my. So, uh, I'm going to
I'm faced with a trial I've got two ways I can go I can still wear a smile Or let it bring me down low Satan whispers you're through But I hear Jesus tell me to stand What am I gonna do? Church, praise God. They they worship God with you. And Come I tell on, you, if you've ever been out on the field and oh, yeah. evangelizing or working for God, you know how important that is. Amen. Yes, it is. Glory to God. I appreciate it. We've been in congregations with three or four hundred feet people. Amen. Brother Derek. And don't get that much praise to God. Cold as ice. It's a pitiful yeah. shame that people don't love the Lord and that lift up hands. Glory to God. Not just to lift them up, but praise God, but praise Him with them. Glory to God. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I'm gonna sing a song right now that we're the we're the we're the in the beginning and what took place there. Come on, man. God, and you know we're we're serving a God that we don't have to wonder if He knows, brother. We don't have to wonder if He understands what's going on in our life. Yeah. Danny said something a minute ago, sort of spurred this up a little bit in my mind. But you know, she said, "I told God, God." You just got to understand, God. You got to know that, that, you know, God knows, Janice. God knows all things. He knows everything that's going on in our life. He knows the complications that the devil's trying to pull us down with. I'm telling you, church, God knows tonight what's going on in our life. He knows He knows the answer is still His Son. Praise the Lord. He knows the answer is still His Son. Glory to God. Why? Because, praise God, He's out here. Amen. Glory to God, Jesus sat down there and went up the well one day. He said, my meat is to do the will of the Father. Yes. And I finish His work. Praise God. Hallelujah to go out there. Amen, brother. Die for His people. Amen. Glory to God. I'm telling you what. He came to seek and to save that which was lost and I was the master of. Amen. Glory to God. And I just thank Him tonight. Amen. That I can now lift my hands and praises of the one that I know knows everything. Glory to God. There's just one drop of blood that's all it takes. Just one drop of blood. Amen. And we know that he was beaten, he was slain, he was killed. Amen. And after that he had done bled and bled and bled, the word of God said it, that he was already dead and they speared him into the side and out gushed blood and water. Amen. Glory to God, but I'm telling you, just one drop, amen. That's all we need. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to listen to the words of this song if I can sing it tonight. Come on, brother. Hallelujah. There's, there's, no, there's a never-ending flow, amen, of the blood of Christ. Amen. A never-ending flow. Listen to this. Come on now, church. Worship the Lord. souls to be born in a real that form drop after drop on the ground yeah, come on. Yeah. and has set the us free because they believe that there's still a lot of blood at Calvary yeah. but there's still redemption for the soul of God Still 
Yeah. 
down to rest in a cold and cold and gray. As the stone walk to the door, the silver prints of life within. They must have felt just like the end. They must have been a tragedy. Especially for you tonight. Amen. Come on, brother. And uh, if if you're here and you don't know the Lord as your Savior, Amen. Yes. Amen. Then I beg you to make a vow to the Lord tonight. Amen. But be serious, Amen. And I, I want someone here tonight that 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 does know the Lord that needs to rekindle the fire in you a little bit. And begin to do something that you've already told God you'd do. Brother Derek, I'm not barking up the tree. Amen. I want you to know here tonight that this song's for you. And I don't know about you, but I'm not afraid to make God a promise. You know why? Brother Frankie, the Word of God says it's better to not make a vow to God than to make one and break it. Amen. Yes. <laughs> But you know what? If we don't get our feet wet, church, if we don't drift out, how many knows about the song I sang a little while ago? About the bridge. You know the, the obedience that Peter had to have? He was in a, he was he was basking, if you will, in the presence of the Lord, and God said, Well, just come on out here. Yeah. And God bid me to come unto thee. Yeah. Bid me to come unto thee. He said, well, just come on. Yes. But you know what? What happened when he got out of there and he began to look in another direction? Yes. I want to tell you that I want to tell you something. This is our miracle working God that I'm talking about. Yes. Our miracle working God honored his miracle working son. Glory yes. to God. If you honor His Son, you're honoring God tonight. Yes. Glory to God. There's no way we can get to the Father except through Him. Amen. Yes. But I want to tell you something tonight. The Word of God said that Jesus said, Come. Yes. And Peter stepped out. And about the time that he stepped out, the Bible said, I want you to hear this. The Bible said that he began to sing. Yes. We can't even imagine what it'd be like to step out on the sea, brother, and to have a foundation under us. Much less, amen, yeah. to begin to sing. Yeah. And the Bible said immediately, brother. Glory to God, I'm talking about immediately. Beginning to sing, can you just even think about it? Go on. Just like that. But our Lord was there. Just like that. That's our God. He said come and he meant to give him all the power that he needed to come. Amen. Yeah. But see, just a little bit of taking your eye off of God will make you to begin to sing. Yeah. But see, just because you begin to sing don't mean, don't mean you have to go there. Amen. Oh, what did Peter do? The Word of God said he cried out on the hill. Yeah. There's another illustration I want to tell you tonight. And I'm not going to say I didn't come to preach. Boy, I come fully loaded. Come on, brother. Yeah. Yeah. But let me tell you this. The Word of God said that the Master was asleep in the, in the ship. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it talks about several, several illustrations about the Master and the, and the sea and the ships. But there was one time, praise God, that, that see, he was, he was fast asleep. As humans do in this world on that ship that day. Yes. But I want to tell you about a time that there was on the sea, there was on the seashore, and the word of God said that Jesus told them to go over yonder. 
I must go into the mountains and pray. Amen. He said, but you go on across over yonder and I'll see you there. And the Word of God said, Brother Derek, that the Word of God said in the midnight hour as the ship was tossed to and fro. Amen. As the boisterous winds were up and the seas were in danger and, and the people on the ship, they were in danger without the Lord. Yes. The Bible said that He came walking, brother, upon the sea, brother Derek, and I want you to hear the message that I'm trying to preach to you and I today. Amen. We have to cry out unto Him, brother, with all our hearts, even though God, I said a while ago that we need to praise Him. We need to lift Him up in praise in everything that we say and everything that we do, church, because God inhabits the praises of His people. Amen. But well, I tell you that He needs, He knows every thought and empty of your heart. And He knows every need that you need even before you ask. But He said, ask Him and He shall receive. Cry out unto Him. But first we must worship Him. We must praise Him. Amen. We must lift Him up. The Bible says that Jesus came walking to them upon the sea. And they was in the winds were boisterous and all this and all of that. And the Word of God said that they thought that He was a spirit or whatever, but was He a spirit? Praise the Lord. Said that He came walking to them upon the sea, brother. And listen, He said, I, He would have passed them by had they not what? Cried out unto Him. Have you ever heard that message before? Amen. Listen, God ceased the winds. He made it to come under control under His command. But the message, brother, was this. He would have passed them by if they had not have cried out unto Him. Oh, I'm telling you, God's tired of working with men. Amen. They won't hear. God can't use a stubborn and rebellious person. God will only use those. Hallelujah. That will tell them. Amen. To his face, praise God. Hallelujah. Upon their knees and cry out unto a word of God of heaven. God will use you. God will grace you. God will, uh, he will support you. And he will make you to do exploits. How many know what exploits are in God? Exploits means to do greater than great. Amen. There's nothing that is impossible to those that believe. Oh, hallelujah. There's great things that people does on this earth. Amen. But there's nothing compared to the greatness of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing this song tonight. Sing this song tonight. And I'm going to let Brother Derek have it back over. Amen. It's time to make it's time to make vows unto the Lord. It's time to be ready to make your calling and election sure. It's time to kneel down before God, church, and, and accept what He wants you to do. You know why I've heard Brother Derek a lot of people say that I've heard a lot of people preach that if you don't do what God has called you to do, He'll take your gift and give it to somebody else. I know there's an illustration in there, but amen. But let me tell you something. God showed me that your gift and your calling and your election, you must make sure, hallelujah, and if He gives you a calling, He ain't gave your calling to nobody else. Amen. Amen. The gift and the calling of God are without repentance, brother. They are yours. Nobody else's. Someone may have the same call. They may have a, an election that they have to make up. Amen. And they're mind to do for God, but your call is your call. It's nobody else's. And I want you to know it is without repentance. Amen. Frank, before you get started, Frank said there's somebody here that needs needs something. You know, last night as I was praying, and I thought it was just for me, but God said it's for, for this church too. Hallelujah. He just spoke to me, Brother Derek, and he said, let go. Let go. Hallelujah. So tonight God is speaking to somebody to let go. That's all you got to do is let it go. Let it go. Oh, Brother Derek, I could preach. Ain't nobody got a hat, have you? If you have, throw it on the floor. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Let me tell you something. Church, let it go. Come on. This is what this is what I did when I came to the altar. 
Brother Frankie, I'm not you. I know you're not. I'm not you. You wouldn't like to be in my shoes, I guarantee you. I wasn't going to be in yours. I'm, I'm, I'm all right just the way I am. I'm all right right here in, in the call that God's called me to do. Even in the trials that He's called me into. Allowed me to go into. Amen. And I want you to hear this song tonight. If you've never heard this song before, I want you to hear it. The first few words are essential. Listen to it. said goodbye to all my sin and I know that I've been born again I left my worldly ways and friends behind so if you're looking for a heart to use take mine take Lord, I see the world's lost its way. Come on. Seems to be getting worse every day. I know we can reach them, but there's still time. So if you're looking for a heart to give, take my time to run. what you got to do. Lord, I said goodbye to all my sin. All of them. And I know that I've been born again. Let my worldly ways and friends behind. So if you're looking for a heart to give, take mine. Take mine. Fill it up with your love. Take mine. Let it flow with power from above. I feel light in the middle of the night. So if you're looking for a heart to you, take mine. Lord, I see the world's lost its way. Seems to be getting worse every day. I know we can reach them for there's still time, sir. So you take mine. Take mine. Fill it up with your love. Take mine. Let 
That's what God said. You go forward today. Help us on the way. 